Oh, now we're talking. Wow, I'm never paddling again. I am in the heart of downtown Chattanooga and today I am kayak camping. Gosh. I'm also being really, really loud. <laughs> I spent the night on this island that is actually underneath a overpass bridge here in Chattanooga. And over the next two days, I'm gonna be living out of this foldable kayak. My kayak don't jiggle jiggle, it folds. I've loaded my stuff in there, I've loaded my stuff in there. I've got some underwear drying on the back. So yeah, let's go. Ow, 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 bye. <laughs> this is my show, gosh darn. Wow, this is beautiful. All right, Chattanooga. Southern Belle. Nice. Is that like an old barge? It is. This is like pretty incredible. In the middle of Chattanooga, kayaking on a river towards a forest. I love this. I feel like it's this is so cool to see all these like people walking on the bridge, pedestrian bridge behind us. We are kayaking down river, but we're hitting this huge headwind, which is making the water really choppy. It's making it really hard. I really hope that the headwind turns into a tailwind. What do you think of getting lost? definitely slower going than I anticipated. It's just like a whole new method of travel for me. Like not walking, but paddling. I feel like I'm doing a little bit of like immersion therapy for myself of being like, I want to learn to kayak camp. So I'm just gonna go kayak camping. <laughs> I'm realizing that like, I might've been a little overly ambitious. <gasps> Osprey, no, Eagle. mind kayaking was just like floating down a river and occasionally paddling but I am really tired lunchtime yes. Food. it's so funny about like sitting in a kayak is like I get out of a kayak and I'm like man I need to sit down I was talking to myself while you guys were catching up. I'm just thinking like, how disappointed will I be in myself if I can't do the entire Tennessee River in two days? And I think the answer is not that disappointed. But camping in a cool spot would be cool. I feel like because I haven't been climbing in a long time, my shoulder strength and mobility is just like pretty subpar. And I'm feeling that for sure. This is the funny thing about boats, it's like I just keep going. Williams Island's kind of big and it looks like the, the river's gonna split and go around it on either side. And I think if we're, if we're not stopping at Williams, we wanna stay to the left. But apparently there's cows on Williams Island. Nothing but mammals, so let's do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. Get Tony now. There's like eight cows. There's like a bunch. What? I've never seen an island cow before. just too hot for this.
It is late afternoon and by my watch, we still have about another hour and a half of paddling. I think it's only another six miles, which doesn't seem like very much considering that we've already gone almost 12. Hopefully we'll be able to get into our campsite before it gets too late. It's also about 94 degrees outside and even though it feels amazing to be on the water, it is still really, really hot in the sun. Luckily, we have some kind of like intermittent cloud cover, which is making this a lot more comfortable. But look, it's like everything is a big trade-off. It's like, it's kind of really nice because the water is basically bath water. It's so warm. And the cloud coverage is nice because it's not super sunny. It's pretty great, honestly. Now that is an official mode of travel. Just a babe in a bikini, boating about, on a motorboat. Just a babe in a bikini, boating about in a motorboat. <laughs> bikini babe boats about in a motorboat. Motorboat and bikini babe boats about. Leave me alone, I am hot and I am tired. And I need some Advil. <sighs> Sun is just baking me, you know? So from here, it's like 3.7 miles still before we get to camp from this RV site. I'm gonna pretend like I'm not tired. Maybe then I won't be tired. Oh yeah, this is it. Woo! We finally found our campsite through the algae forest. Oh God. Man. I was sort of expecting like a beach. This is more like a little cove. Ooh, okay, does anyone want to guess how many miles we kayaked first? Anybody? 15. I was gonna say 16 or 17. 16.63. It took us exactly seven hours. So uh, that is, wow, actually 16.63. That's like 16, more than 16 and a half miles of kayaking. Holy cow, that's a lot of kayaking. The longest I think I've ever kayaked before this was a mile and a half. <laughs> I'm sorry, I like, just realized how idiotic that is. I probably shouldn't have come this far today, but here we are. So. I'm going to empty some stuff out of my boat, dump all the water out, and um, pee. And we'll set up camp. Right. Tent goes up first, making sure there's no poison ivy. <laughs> I am very concerned about poison ivy. This is the new tent that I got, the Sea to Summit Alto. This is the first trip where I get to use it. Um, I'm pretty excited about it. I used it last night at our campsite and I really liked it. But we also got in super late, so I didn't really get a chance to like fully set it up and get ready, so. This is a semi-freestanding tent, which means I have to stake out the corners of it. And luckily, I'm basically camping in a swamp. And everything's really soft. Yes. Oh, man, there's nothing better than soft ground for staking. Yeah, I always stake my tents out because I like having it taut and because I have gotten pwned too many times by not staking a tent and then having like a crazy wind rip through and just collapse the sides of the tent. So, <laughs> wait, is that an old phrase, pwned? Yeah. No. Kids say pwned. Look at that, isn't that a pretty tent? Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Okay, let me show you the coolest things about this tent now. This is the stuff sack for the poles. This is the stuff sack for the tent. These actually become pockets inside the tent. This one is what they call the light bar pocket. So you actually put your headlamp in here and this is a light diffusing material. And so it creates kind of like a lantern inside the tent. I 
mean, it's a twofer. It's a twofer. I'm not moving though, so you're gonna have to deal with that. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> this is my weird mixture of polenta and beans and dehydrated vegetables and hot sauce and traditional yeast. <laughs> That's actually really good. <laughs> Today kicked my butt. Kayaking that many miles was really, really hard. But the good news is that tomorrow I only have seven miles until I get into the Tennessee River Gorge and then I will be done with my kayak camping trip. It is kind of late and it's starting to get dark. So I'm gonna finish eating my dinner and I will see you all in the morning. slept pretty well last night. Um, it actually got kind of cold and there was a lot of little critters roaming around. And at one point in the middle of the night, I heard like a really loud splash, which was something like getting into the water. Um, but yeah, I slept pretty well. I love that tent. And I also really liked just sleeping like under a blanket. The thing that I don't like that I'm experiencing this morning is that everything is damp. Like I was still damp. My pants are a little bit damp. My shirt's a little bit damp. Everything has got like just a layer of water on it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I slept pretty well, actually. Oh my gosh, the frogs, hold on. The frogs last night were so loud. There was a moment before I fell asleep where I was like, I think I'm, I think this is when I lose it. I think this is when I stop camping completely. <laughs> Rainer told me this morning that I looked like Creature from the Black Lagoon went shopping at a thrift store in the 90s. <laughs> okay, one of the cool things about kayak camping is that you can actually carry more weight than you can with backpacking. You're only limited on space. And one of the things that's challenging about the Oru is that in order to pack it, I actually have to kind of deconstruct the actual structure. So these things, if you can see this in here, this is basically my hull on the inside, um, which is where I'll store most of my stuff. But in order to assemble the kayak, I have to like buckle this closed. So I pack it by slightly disassembling the kayak. The challenge I've run into a little bit is that like, I don't necessarily have easy access to stuff in these two sections of the boat while we're kayaking. So this back section I think is a little bit longer than that front hole. So I think my tent poles fit in here better. Yes, perfect, okay. Ugh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still learning, I'm still figuring it out. Assembling the Oru kayak is really intuitive and really easy. And so because I've gotten better at assembling the kayak, it's gotten easier to pack the kayak. I've been using my chipper sit pad as a little bit of extra padding on this chair. We are sitting for many hours at a time. Yesterday we were sitting for like seven hours. So that makes it a little bit more comfortable. And then I have this gear line that I've like threaded around the kayak where I can hang some things like my sunglasses, my buff, I can like attach this dry bag with my phone right there. It just kind of like keeps it somewhat in one spot. And then my pack is really just sitting back here with snacks and things like that. Today we have only seven miles to kayak, which if you'd asked me a few weeks ago, I'd have been like, that's impossible. But because I did almost 17 miles yesterday, it feels super doable. Ready to roll, Joe? Ready to roll. It is a roast rooney for sure. Six miles to go. I'm not a kayaker. I don't know much about kayaking, but somebody told me that you should try and like push with your opposite hand when you're kayaking. So I'm like pushing with my right hand, I'm like pushing with my left hand. And to basically reach like out in front of you, and then uh, like turn to the side. So you're like going like this. So it kind of feels like a core workout, like reaching, pushing, turning, reach, push, turn like that. So I don't know if it's right, but it's what I was taught. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Oh, now we're talking. 
Wow, I'm never paddling again. Woo, kayaking. Hey. Back on. I'm gonna give myself five minutes of closing my eyes, and then we're gonna keep paddling. Look at this bird. Oh my gosh, there's an osprey nest. <gasps> That's like the 10th osprey that I've seen on this river. There's just so many birds out here. I saw this huge bird with like a red head, a red beak. I don't know what bird that was. It looked like a turkey, but mostly we've seen ospreys. Anyway, why are we on a, um, yeah, what are we doing on a beach in the rain? Well, <laughs> there's just been a lot of like weather rolling through Chattanooga and the surrounding area over the past few days. Um, so we sort of had this weather window yesterday and well like the evening that we started and then yesterday and then this morning but unfortunately a storm is kind of coming in now so i am kind of trying to decide what i'm gonna do like if i'm gonna continue kayaking down the river and try and like out kayak the storm or if i'm just gonna call it early i would say something like i'm gonna leave you in my desk but we all know that i'll be the last one there so <laughs> I spy a boat ramp with my little eye. That's our boat ramp. That's where we're finishing. It's good because I finally have to poop. Come on, Miranda. All right, I'm not going to stop till we get there. Woo, to the dock. Uh, we did it! Yeah. I'm finished with this. <laughs> uh, I am so sore. I am so wet. I am so tired. And um, learned a little bit about my inability to paddle a kayak very far. But we got here. Yeah, the, uh, the Oru held it pretty well for um, like a two day water rafting kayaking trip, but I think I can probably learn to pack this a little bit better so that the next time I take it kayak camping, I can get more stuff and be like a little bit more comfortable. And I am definitely going to do this again. Just because it wasn't like the most fun this time around doesn't mean I don't want to try it again, you know? And that it wasn't fun, it was just really hard. I'm going to unload this boat and dry all of my gear out and get it back into my car to continue with our summer road trip. And if you liked this video, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and follow us on the rest of the summer road trip. And I will see you all in the wild. Bye. I'm so thirsty. Humidity. <laughs>